Sleep did not come easy last night or this morning. I've lay in my bed for the last few hours tossing and turning. My head is so full of so many thoughts. Following the news last night of our new curfew, my mind is still buzzing with loads of questions of what our new normal will mean. What does this mean for family, work, church, and even dog walking? All the things I love. We've never faced anything like these restrictions in our lives before, and it's very unsettling. And yet, as we read yesterday, as well as the Lord being our confidence, he is also our peace. If we lay down, you will not be afraid. When you lay down, your sleep will be sweet. We read in Proverbs 3 verse 24. Whatever challenges, difficulties and restrictions we face, if we can know peace, then we will continue to not be afraid as we lay down each night and our sleep will be sweet. See, peace comes not from the absence of war, strife or conflict. Peace comes from the right relationship with God. So as each new challenge comes to us in this new normal, can I encourage you all to look to God. Fix your eyes on him, turn to him, especially in prayer. Remember the words of Jesus from John 14. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. What a promise. May each one of you know that peace at this time. And may you all know sweet sleep in the coming days. And finally, let us pray using a prayer based on one from the Church of Southern India, which can be used by you each night as you go to sleep. Let's pray. God, our Father, by whose mercy the world turns safely into darkness and returns again to light, we place in your hands our worries, fears and concerns at this time. Knowing that you will hear them all, I turn them now into prayers. To your love, peace and protection, we commit each other and all those we love, knowing that you alone are our sure defender. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.